how do you keep that still that still so still? <laughs> Secret. Secret. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, they say that I'm talking a whole lot of trash. I'm sitting and thinking like, who knew? I know that you've seen us on rappers react. They're talking about us on YouTube. Hollywood six, it look like I do magic. Maybe he's practicing voodoo. I'm hearing you're getting a lot of attention. Well, I'm here to say that we do to deliver the rubbish. I'm What's going on, everybody? We're back with another segment of rappers react. Smoked up. What up? Got some trivia for you. What's he got? What does an what does a obrometer measure? An obrometer? An obrometer. What does that measure? Hmm. I know what a barometer measures, but uh, you know obrometer. An, you know what an odometer measures too? Yeah. What about an obrometer? I have no clue. What is it? Rainfall. Uh, okay. Wouldn't that? Well, humidity is the barometer. So yeah, barometer. Yeah, yeah. Okay. barometer. Yeah. All right. Barometric well, pressure. That is. Yeah. What shape is the scar on Harry Potter's forehead? Oh, was come it like on. a zigzag? Like Everybody a... knows it's. Come on. I thought it was like a zigzag. Like You're a, right, a, but it's actually something. A lightning bolt. There you go. There you go. Um. Let's see. Uh. All right. Hall of Fame running back Jim Brown played his entire pro career for which NFL team? The Browns. Cleveland Browns. You got it. All right. So. Uh, Victoria Queen uh, Feminine Victoria's Secret Okay One of the most common words of Eng in, the in the English language Of Okay Superman is the man of Steel Secret of Steel You got it my friend <laughs> Guys before we get started Please do us a big, big favor Y'all please hit that thumbs up button And guys please subscribe to the channel Have a good Sake, leave us a comment and tell us what to react to next. That's how we get the ideas for these videos that come directly from you. Right down in the comment section and over on Patreon. And today, we have another wonderful suggestion from one of our wonderful Patreon members who goes by the name of Mike, Mike Koga. Yes, yeah. shout out to you, Mike Koga, because you are a loyal Patreon member and we say loyal. This guy's been here around for quite some yeah, time. Yeah, dang near day one, huh? Dang near, man. But yes, um, Uncle Mike, you um, thank you for all your love and support that you've given us throughout the years. We greatly, greatly appreciate it. Mm -hmm. And you have been begging. Yeah. You have been begging. Yeah. And God dang it. That's how bad <laughs> you've been begging. <laughs> you've been begging for you to come on plug. Yes. But, no, I mean, he has said, he, look, let's not, let, let's just go and say this. Mike Kogai. Through Patreon, again, shout out to all our Patreons. If you guys want to support us, it's the best way to do it. But he introduced us to Queensryche. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he did. He yeah, got, sent us some Queensryche shirts, too. Exactly. Yeah. Now he's introducing us to a band called Manowar. Hmm. I, I automatically think of Aldo Montoya, the Portuguese Man of War. Man of War. Something wrestling, right? Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. That was the, the new generation WWF. New generation. Yeah, it was actually just incredible from ECW fame. But that was his gimmick in WWF. Smokey could do this all day long. <laughs> you know what's crazy is, okay, the name of the band is like Man O War. Yeah. But when you say it, it's Man O War. Man O War. It sounds like a war of mana. You know, mana being a bit Oh, mana? <laughs> like the, the food? Like yeah. the nourishment? Yeah. yeah. I wonder if they play off of that at all. Like, yeah. is this religious by any means? Or is I thought it might be a place. But I don't, I don't really know where Man of War would be, but Man it's of War, probably New Mexico. <laughs> because even when you see Man O War, it's just the O with the apostrophe. Man O War, like Man of War. Yeah. So uh, that's what I would assume they're going to off of. What about Secret of Steel? Secret <laughs> of Steel. The first thing that comes to my mind is gas station bills. <laughs> that's to see that. Oh my God, you're doing there it. Is some steel ones that, out there. That's the secret. Steel and rhinos. Yeah, no, I'm <laughs> yeah. saying it makes you steal. Yeah, exactly. That, how do you keep that steel? That steel so steel. <laughs> secret. secret. <laughs> I, you got anything there? Uh, I mean, I don't know. Uh, secret of steel. I don't. Maybe it's a sword or something. Or I mean, is there a secret process to making steel? You take iron and oxidize it or something smoke up what up let's get to it let's do it one second just one second here 
Into yeah. glory, Brad, first and foremost. Uh-huh. All these guys look like if there was a pill that you could get from your gas station, <laughs> this is what it, the cover of that pill would look like. <laughs> yeah. This looks like a, a cross between a glam metal band and some kind of primal f- warrior movie. Let's find out. God, do I know this riff? I don't, but damn. Thank you. 
Where'd you find this? <laughs> yeah. Mm. Sounds a little like Queen's right, doesn't it? It does have a... Okay. You can tell Mike's uh, selection of music. Here. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, first of all, I'm not going to put this guy's vocals over the lead singer of Queen's right. I'm not going to oh, do yeah. that. He is great. Not but this guy is amazing. This dude had it, though. Bro. Yeah. Like, you got to think. Some people who just had those vocals... Yeah. Like, stay... I don't know. I'm, I'm attempt envious. To try. I am envious of that. I wish I could hit notes like that. I mean, it, and then you hold them perfectly, man. Mm. That's that's a talent. You let me tell you. First of all, I f with this song, dude. What I what I love about this song, it 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 makes you. I, this is a terrible thing to say, but it makes you say, if we had to go to war, mm-hmm. just play this song. Oh, I, yeah. it, it's going to make you feel triumphant. <laughs> yes. You out there like, oh, we finna get these moms. Yeah, yeah. And I think a lot of early metal was like that, right? Like, they built off of, like, the what warrior culture, you know? Oh. The ones that weren't doing, like, the, the religious or the anti-religious thing, you know? But there was this certain subset of early metal that was built off of, like, just war triumph you know a lot like uh power metal would be today you know like they most of them draw their inspiration from battles whether it be uh history or intergalactic mm-hmm. battles you know damn intergalactic battles. yeah like um dragon force dragon yeah force. so first of all what you would say early 80s man of war oh it sounds maybe 70s because it sounds pre-thrash to me it sounds like probably when the original uh, metal era was kind of fading into thrash, somewhere in the middle there, right? So, uh, where guessing, I'm, I don't know. Where I'm going is what genre do you call this? Uh, this, this is just like triumph yeah. metal, man. I, yeah, it's kind of progressive though. It did it did have a progressive mm-hmm. vibe to it. I mean, it's like um, it's like I don't want to say like the birth of like uh, God, like give me a man, like. When we fr- you're wearing a Highland shirt. When yeah. you did Highland, you know we felt like, hey, we're we're part of nature. Yeah, yeah. This felt like the birth of like I don't want to say power metal because I don't know if that if that's a bad thing to say, but it it's like it's just that that metal that you you just want to get up. Like okay, and Rocky when he was running up the the, the hills, yeah. you could have easily replaced that song. He was running up the hills With and this. put this in yeah. there, and it would have been just <laughs> absolutely. Fine. It's yeah. like you're achieving something in life, you know? Yeah. Or like any of those um, old school, uh, like Greek mythology movies yes. or whatever. Yes. Which that may be what this song is about. I was about, just actually. about to say that. So you had brought up a sword. Mm-hmm. God dang it, were you not on point? I think so. I think so. I think so. I think he had the entire collection, though, because I think he had like a, a shield and a, maybe even a spear or whatever else he had. But yeah, I think the whole thing was forged by the gods for this guy to use. It reminds me of like Perseus. You know the story of Perseus? Educate me. It was Zeus's uh, half-breed son. You know, he was half mortal, half god. He was a demigod. I'm half-breed. Are you making fun of me here? Are you? uh, (laughs) Are you demigod? Never know. (laughs) Hollywood six. Go ahead. But anyway, so he went off on his quest to shut down the Titan that Hades was going to release, and Zeus actually told Hades he could do it, but it's a long story. Um, So Perseus rejected his father. He rejected God. He rejected Zeus. But Zeus still wanted to take care for him. He's like, he's my son. I've got to give him something. So he left him this shield and this sword that could cut right through stone. It was like the the greatest sword ever formed. And he used that in his journey. Uh, You know, he chopped off Medusa's head with it. I do know about some of that. Yeah, and then had to use Medusa's head to 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 tame the Titan. I I was very big into Greek mythology growing up. Yeah. I I know it's probably all BS, but god dang it. It's fun, though. It's freaking great, man. (laughs) Yeah. It's great. And trash talkers, especially you, Mike, uh, Uncle Mike, you can let us know. Do they play off of, you know, any of those, you know? Yeah, those mythologies, yeah. Yeah. Whether it be Greek, uh, Roman, Norse, or whatever it is, yeah. Anything. And this is 
the great powers of Patreon. Uncle Mike, you introduced us to Queens Mike. We appreciate it. And now you have introduced us to Man of War, and we greatly appreciate it. Absolutely. 100%. Guys, let us know what's next by Man of War down in the comment section. And with that being said, my name is Barrington Hollywood 6. Bye. I am Larry Smokey Ramirez Cowboy. And we are over and out. Deuces. I want to thank you guys for tuning in to another segment of Rappers React. If you guys want to see another artist that we covered, just click uh, right here. If you want to see the last video did, just click right over here. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of time with us today. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already, and we'll see you on the next one. Deuces.